Hey, um, I just want to share with you guys uh, a little video that I'm making with this new open source software that I'm trying out. It's called OBS. It's uh, open broadcasting software. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's a screencasting software, and I know screencasting is pretty popular in this program. And I've been using Jing and Screencast-O-Matic, but I figured I'd try this one out, and it seems really great. So uh, let me show you it. Let me. I can do these things right in real time. So here is my screen. Um, actually, let me just get rid of myself altogether. And so it's a little it's a little trippy because. <laughs> it's a screen of the program, of the program, of the program. Uh, I'll make it a little bit smaller, so it's not quite the headache. But uh, here's my screen. Uh, it's got a lot of great uh, options here. It's a lot more, a lot more options than Jing and Screencast-O-Matic and some other free screencasting softwares have. So uh, you've got down here, you've got uh, your scenes, so you can make your presets. You can save them as scenes. Uh, you've got sources, so this tells you where you're capturing from. So if you wanted to change this, this right now is I've got an audio input and I've got the display capture. Uh, if I wanted to, if I so if I brought myself back up, you'd see not only do I have the the audio input and the display capture, I've also got a video capture, which is my webcam. Um, so, but you can add things to that: uh, images, video, audio all sorts of options here. I know a lot of gamers use screen capture software and I think that this program uh, really caters to some of their needs. I'm not really sure what those are. I don't, I don't do game, gaming screen capture myself. Um, but uh, it's pretty, pretty intuitive to use. Uh, there's a lot of technical options. Um, so I can add a new video input here, create new. Uh, in this case, the only device I have is this built-in eyesight, which I guess is the name of my webcam. Um, and then I can set the resolution here of what I want it captured at. So, uh, oh, and here I am. Um, so there's a lot of, of options here. Let me just get rid of that. And it lets me do all this while I'm recording, which is pretty cool. Um, so, and then we can go into the settings menu and there's a lot more here. So you can set it to, uh, you can set it to automatically set up, uh, set it up so that it automatically gets uploaded to the services. YouTube is the only one of these that I would probably use, but um, I'm not really sure what all these other ones are. I usually like to uh, not have my videos automatically uploaded, but uh, some people might want to do that. Got your output option, so you can set your video bit rate, your audio bit rate, your recording path. You can set your format here. I like MP4, but if you like Flash, you can use Flash. Um, you can change these. This is probably a little higher. I wonder if it will let me change. I'm not, I better not change it while I'm recording, but um, those are probably a little higher than I need them to be. Um, you've got your audio, so here you can set your microphone. I've got a couple of options here. I've got the built-in microphone on my computer. You can just turn it off. Um, I've got this Snowball microphone, which I'm borrowing from the College of Education, uh, which is pretty nice. And let's see. So, okay, so it won't let me change my video output currently because I'm obviously in the middle of recording. But uh, you can set shortcut keys. There's some advanced options. I'm not totally sure what all those are, but uh, it's nice to know they're there. So uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I would I would recommend it. Uh, let me let's see. There's one other thing I wanted to show you. Maybe it was back in the settings. Uh, one thing that I liked is oh I guess I can't show it to you while I'm recording. But there's a there's a way you can set it. I think it's in this base canvas resolution option. Um, so you can set it to record your whole screen like I'm doing now. Or if you want, you can set it to just record a specific window of a program that you have running. Uh, which is kind of cool. Um, or you can set the size of the window manually. Uh, it's not quite as easy to set manually as in screen, no, as in Jing. I think Jing you can just draw it out, uh, which is nice. This one you have to actually basically type in the margins numerically or, or just to set the cropping. Um, but it's there, it's an option. So, um, oh, hey, one other thing that I thought was cool. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if this is, again, I don't know if it'll let me 
do this while I'm recording? Oh, uh, probably not. There's a way that you can hide your mouse, basically. Um, so if you wanted to record like a presentation, like um, either PowerPoint, or if you were trying to do like a Khan Academy type thing, and you didn't want the cursor to be visible, you just wanted things to be drawn on the screen uh, by themselves, you can set it so that it won't actually record your cursor. It'll still record everything you do, but it won't record the actual cursor, which is uh, kind of cool. Sometimes if you, I know I've tried to record PowerPoint presentations and I'm always trying to make sure that I keep my cursor hidden from the screen because I don't want it to be a distraction. Um, but yeah, I would definitely uh, recommend uh, checking it out if you're looking for a screencasting software. Um, it seems to work pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this find. So it's called OBS. And uh, that's about it. All right.